Hello everyone, my name is Steven Weigel, and today we'll be looking at how to create equal temperaments in absinthe. It's not too hard. The instrument I've got selected is the bass piano. Uh, and it's, of course, in a 12-note tuning. When we go over to the perform area and then the tuning tab, we can edit tunings. Now, you can't edit the default tunings that they've given you. Here they are. They contain some 12N, some mean tone tuning, and some Eastern tunings. I had a lot of 12 note things and harmonic stuff. But let's say I want like 14 tone equal temperament. I need to create a new thing. Now, you want to make sure the octave link is on. The octave link, what it normally allows you to do is create a scale that repeats in the octave after a certain amount of notes. So this is allowing you to create octave equivalent scales more easily without repeatedly having to put in every single note. You just have to put in all of the notes that are in your given octave. But we can actually hack this to create equal temperaments really easily because here's the keys per octave. What it does is it changes things every n notes, whatever's right here. Um, so if this were 13, our octave would become 13 notes long. And if this were 13, our octave would become an octave in A minor second. This interval and this interval, are they're both written in 12-tone equal-tempered semitone units. So you can think of this as cents divided by 100 for both of these. Now, the way to hack this to get equal temperaments is to change the keys per octave to 1. And then we can change this to 1, too. Now, this ensures that every single note will be changed if we just type in the generator of the equal temperament, which is the smallest kind of step. So the smallest step in the equal temperament will just generate the whole thing. We can do this for 12 equal. It doesn't apply until you punch in a number for the note here, too. So you can see how these are the same, except this changed to 0.999, and so did this, because of, like, rounding error. But it still basically gives you 12-tone equal temperament, except now we've just done it with this easy method. So in order to create 14-tone equal temperament and other things like that, what we need to do is we need to find the smallest cent value now uh, for that tuning. What we need to do is thus divide the octave into 14 parts. That is our that is the cent value for our smallest step. And then to put it in here in this form, we have to divide it by 100. So now we can put this in here, 17 blah blah blah, just putting it in. Great. Now that's in there but this hasn't changed yet. I want C to be 60 still. Voila, you can see that everything over here has now changed and I can play that 14 tone equal temperament. How very cool. So we can do this with any equal temperament we want. We can even do it with the default ones that are given if you just want to change which note C is or have something transposed to kind of a different region entirely where like you're playing in C and it sounds like A or something. Okay, so we went over that. By the way, a shortcut for getting this value without dividing out the octave in cents is to simply go 12 divided by equal temperament. This only works for octave-based tunings, though. If you want to do non-octave tunings, you would have to do a different division. Let's actually go over Bull and Pierce so that you know how to put in an equal temperament that's non-octave. Okay. So here's how we would do it. Uh, what we would do is we would take, uh, well, Bull and Pierce, first of all, if you don't know, is uh, a tritave or octave in a perfect fifth divided into 13 equal parts. So an octave in a perfect fifth in cents is 1901.955 cents. That, of course, is an approximation since it's a rational number. Uh, but yeah, there it is. Now we can divide that number by 13. And now we get the smallest step in Bull and Pierce, which is 146.304 blah blah blah. We divide that by 100, and now we have our smallest step in Bull and Pierce. 
304-2307. Can't take all those digits, but yeah. Okay, so now we can play our Bull and Pierce scale. <laughs> You can hear that this is an octave and a perfect fifth. I hope this video helped you understand how you can easily create equal temperaments with absinthe without using a scale of file.